Good morning, friends. Teresa from Star Stylist Homestead, back again. So today I'm going to make a couple different cookies. I need to start baking again for Christmas now. I can't believe all those cookies I made are gone. <laughs> but this time I'm going to do a couple different recipes. Um, I'm not a huge oatmeal person, but this one's a healthier version. Uh, my sister can't have sugar, so I'm going to be using pure maple syrup in this that is in sugar still sweet uh, so these are oatmeal raisin cookies I'm not using raisins I'm gonna use crayon raisins instead um, and I'm gonna add nuts into it also so here we go I'll bring you right here okay I have, oh, and this makes um, four and a half dozen cookies. Yee. So, right here, I have two and a half cups of melted butter. We're going to test this thing today because this is a big old recipe. Okay. Um, grab my thing here. And we want one and a half cups. Where's my half cup? Where I just put it here. Oh, I did. Right with my one cup. One and a half cups pure maple. You don't want to use uh, maple syrup for pancakes. There's one and a half. My neighbor, his father made this. Um, he went to Ohio to visit his family, or maybe it's his father-in-law. I think it was his father, but he brought me back pure maple syrup from his farm, I guess. Okay. And I have four eggs, and I just beat them a little bit, so I'm going to add those in there. on, get that going. Okay. I'm going to mix my vanilla extract right in there. So it's two teaspoons. Basically wet ingredients, then all the dry. Uh, I'm going to put my baking soda into my flour. How's that? Just so I don't forget and get this out of the way. So it's two, two teaspoons. I have my flour sitting right here. And I'll put my cinnamon in there also, which is another two teaspoons. get those out of the way. Okay. And nice clean. I'm just going to stir that up a bit here. Oh, and my salt. My salt. Can't forget the salt. One teaspoon of salt. Put that right in with the flour and get that out of the way. Now I'm going to slowly add this. So friends, good thing as I'm mixing this, and you can't even see it in the bowl, this thing doesn't come up any higher. Um, I've been able to keep my food down since I've been taking that medicine, so that's a good thing. I actually 
actually made homemade blueberry pancakes this morning, and I ate a pancake like this big, and another one that was about this big. That was yummy. So far, that's what that looks like. I love that I don't have that I don't have to put the sides down, but I'm going to. Um, I left the house and uh, so it was setting up for a couple hours, but I also made a double recipe too. And um, but it took forever because I used my other mixer to knead all my dough and. Seven to ten minutes tops. It was like a mm, nice ball. I'd put it in my dehydrator to let it rise in there. This, I, I wasn't quite sure. I'm going to do another one and see. Maybe maybe I didn't put enough flour. I don't know. I, I swear I kind of get right. Okay. I'm going to add these in now. That's about two cups of nuts, but I forgot I wanted to um, bang them down a little bit. Looks good. And I don't feel like messing up my thing, so I'm just going to bang them a little bit. Might as well see the noise I'm making, right? I don't want these huge whole nuts in, whoops, close bag for a sec. <laughs> and a couple cookies and then none in other cookies. Okay, I'll dump these right in here. And that's all there is to this, my friends. Oh, I set up the other one. I'm going to actually uh, these are going to go in the oven 10 to 12 minutes depending on how big they are how big you make them I'm going to do them a cookie scoop let's get all the goodness off all the goodness off there's a lot of cookie here I know I've never made these before. Uh, not this, not this recipe anyway. Trying to make something a little healthier. I was seriously thinking, instead of doing turkey and ham for Christmas of three years ago, I had done prime rib. I was seriously thinking about doing prime rib again this year. But the price of it? It's ridiculous. Okay. Just get it off the sides. Show you. Yep. All nice and mixed. Look at all that. Now this is a huge bowl. This is half full. So, let's bring you right here. Oh, and those were walnuts I put in there, by the way. Because it's the only nut I have. Well, that's not true. I was going to actually put just peanuts. Okay. I'm going to take a nice scoop. Yeah, this is plenty. So, I'm going to put all these on the pan. I'm going to throw them in a 350 degree oven for eight to eight to twelve eight to ten minutes or so till they start getting a little brown. So when they come out I'll bring you back. Alright friends. First batch came out, second batch got thirty seconds. Look at these. They're perfect. Bottoms Wonderful. I had my husband taste them. At least that's what he says. Um, and I said, should I add some chocolate chips to it? And he
He said, no, I think it would make it too sweet. True. I, I, we're going for not sugar. So I have these coming out. Let me grab them. My oven is exactly 12 minutes for these. And I'm going to put these in. And I wanted to, I have another batch of cookies I'm making, and it's from Chef Pierre. Um, really simple recipe, but of course I'm going to change it up a little. Um, yeah, so, because I wanted to put chocolate chips in something, but then I remembered I have... Um, just putting these on my cooling rack here. It'd be easier just to pick them up. Um, I remembered I had the Andes cream de menthe. So I had two packages. So I did three pans of these cookies and I had one cup of that left from the one I'm getting ready to bake now. Um, so I put it in the rest. I'll, I'll keep them separate just to give some people the choice if they wanted them a little sweeter, you know? Um, so there you have that so far. What do we have? 16, 22, Yeah. We have plenty because look at this. This is another two panfuls. So here we go, off to the next recipe. Okay, pretty sure I have everything ready. What I don't have is dark brown sugar. Um, it calls for three quarters cup of dark brown and three quarters cup of light brown. All I have is light brown. Yes, you can make it darker with um, that stuff. Not corn syrup. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just going to use all light brown sugar because I don't have that either. Um, I have three sticks of butter. Three full sticks of butter in there. Um, you want it soft. So I need three cups of this. I don't know if I have enough in this. I'm going to add this right in with my butter and start mixing it. I know I have plenty of this because I just filled it from my huge bag. One, two. Looks like I'm going to be filling it again. I tell you what. This thing is amazing to keep your your sugar um, soft. I got it off Amazon. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, we still had a little left. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to start mixing that. I'll start mixing that on low until it starts going. And while that's going, um, I'm making a double recipe, by the way. Single will be below. Um, this is what they look like, or should look like. Mine are going to be a little different. Wow. 
less that's a typo on his part. But can't hurt. I mean, it's vanilla. I love vanilla. Okay, let that mix just for a minute. Um, and we're using both flowers, red flower and um, regular flour. So while that's mixing, let me get my flour. We're going to use one cup of bread flour, so two cups of bread flour. And you want to sift it. Uh, that's why I don't do that. This one. I don't use bread flour enough to... to keep it out in my kitchen. But I think I'm gonna have to. Okay, there's two cups of bread flour. And we need three fourths cups, so a cup and a half of regular flour. really loud. <laughs> okay, there's my flour. Get this out of the way. We need a teaspoon, so two teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of baking soda. I said two, right? Yes. Bacon powder. One, two, and bacon soda. One, two, and salt. I think we needed salt here. Teaspoon. He calls for vanilla salt. I've never heard of vanilla salt. Our salt. So I'm just using salt. Okay. Put that in. Ouch. Okay. And then we need the cocoa powder. So Quarter cup, so we're going to use a half a cup. Half a cup is right here. If you don't want it to be chocolatey, chocolatey, you don't have to use this, he said. Quarter cup, so I want a half cup. I'm not a big uh, dark chocolate person, and I guess this makes it more of a more of a dark chocolate kind, um, but whatever. Can't make it too dark chocolate, because I use this for my um, my other cookies. So, okay, I'm just gonna mix this together real quick and add this a little at a time. until it's all mixed. And I'm gonna grab my nuts because I am gonna put, I think, regular nuts in here. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. All right, my friends. So I just put it down on the sides and do it again. Look at this, holy mackerel. Get some of that off there so I don't, look at that. Now, so now I'm adding three cups of these Andes right into there. And then I'm going to add two cups of 
chopped nuts. So again, I chopped up my walnuts. And then I had these already chopped, which are also walnuts. And now, to mix that. This is a super easy recipe. Um, I hope they're as good as they look when he made them because they look amazing. Another recipe, always big enough. <laughs> at this. Look at how it chunks up on my blade. <laughs> the whole thing. This is the only thing I don't like about <laughs> Well, not the only thing, but yeah. So, there we have it. Wow, perfect consistency too. Let's take this off. And bring this over here. Bring you over here. I still have uh, one more thing of those to do from this pan. And then we'll get going on these. So, as soon as huh, I pick it up to show you and it's not even... Anyway, so uh, when I'm ready to cook these... Or when I, I'm going to do the same thing. I believe these, um, I believe these were eight to ten minutes. Let's see. Um, oh, this is baked for 15 minutes. But he used a big scoop. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing for these and do eight to ten just to see. Um. But there is one thing more that I'm going to do to these. Let me cover this because I have a few minutes. I don't want it to dry out. Okay. And I will be back when these are all done. All right, friends. So I've got this all done up and what I still had. Uh, some of these left. So I put them in the tray and I kept these separated a little because I didn't know how much of these were going to spread out. And now, my last thing, I'm just putting three chocolate chips, tiny chips, on the top of each one. Because remember, these have the mint ones in them. Well, sort of those too. <laughs> now that I think about it. Just to give it a, some of those a little bit a little sugar so and I doubled this recipe too so I have quite a bit in there I'm probably gonna get I don't know three and a half four dozen out of that one of course I'm only making them small chef Pierre used a two inch scoop his were huge and there you go so, when this one comes out, after that one, look at all those cookies over there. I've already got two and a half trays full. Now to find room in my freezer to freeze all these for Christmas. So, I'll be back. All right, my friends. Let me tell you, these spread out. Luckily, I only got two of them too close together. I took the other ones off and put them over there to keep them separated. These have to stay in the pan for a few minutes, but 12 minutes was perfect for these. Um, they literally just came out. So, let's separate these while they're hot. But don't those look good? And, mmm, they smell delicious. And I'm only doing two recipes today because that's a lot of cookies. <laughs> and I have to get dinner ready. So, um, I'll upload these while I'm cooking these, and then I'll do the taste test after. I cannot wait to taste those, because they look delicious. And those little chocolate chips on top, come on. Matter of fact, now that they're, uh, 
now that they're out of the oven, I'm going to add another one on top. You can't have too many, right? Three just isn't even. Look, come on. And you don't have to add them at all, by the way. Um, or even the chips and nuts inside. But why wouldn't you? Unless you were making them for a diabetic or... Although these, I wouldn't make for a diabetic. There's a lot of sugar in there. Because it's the light and dark brown sugar. Those, my husband really liked those. He tried one uh, without the mints in them. Uh, although he tried one with the mints too. And that batch made 70 cookies. And that was just the single that I got. Um, it's just a big batch. You can cut it down, do a quarter, half, whatever. Um, that's a lot of cookies, but throw them in the freezer. I was actually thinking about rolling these up and flash freezing them and the rest of these, but we have a lot of people come for Christmas this year. All my Thanksgiving cookies went. I don't have any in the freezer. Plus, I have other desserts in the freezer. <laughs> um, but cookies are great throughout the day. People just pick them up and whatnot, so I think I'm just going to cook them. I'm freeze them cooked. Then all I have to do is go take it out and bite into it. So um, when these cool off enough, I'll do a taste test and end this video. So I'll be back. All right, my friends, it's time. I took the cookie that was stuck to the other one. Mmm. Let me tell you something. I love my peanut butter blossoms, but that cookie just beat them. The cream to mint in there gives it just enough mint flavor. If you don't like mint, you don't want these, but you can just add chocolate chips in it with nuts. I think the... There's a nut. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a bite of a nut. And then with the nuts, these are amazing and they're so easy. This time around, I put four chips on top because <laughs> they look better. And you don't have to do that before you put them in the oven. If you're in a rush, do them after. These are amazing, my friends. Wow. And I still have enough for two more pans. So... 16 on each pan. Okay. 42. That's 42. And I have probably at least a pan and a half. That's a lot of cookies. I just doubled the recipe. These are awesome. Let me put this down and try this one. Let's see. I want to try... These are the last ones I took out. I just want to try them warm. Mmm. Friends. This has the cream de mint in it, too. The last batch that I... Batch and a half. Oh, my God. They're so good. Seriously? And both these recipes, super easy. I don't know what time I started, um, but I've been doing cookies tops two hours, maybe. I don't even think it was that. My clocks are on there. I don't know. Tops two hours, but I've been cleaning and doing other stuff, and, and I got a lot of cookies. I'm only doing one tray at a time. Make them. Especially those chocolate ones. These are awesome. Those are amazing. Um... I want, I want, I want. I'm a chocolate lover. I'm telling you, friends, and it's walnuts that I put in. I don't know if I said that when I was putting the nuts in, but you can use any kind of nut you want. Any kind of thing. You can put peanut butter chips in here if you want. Um, 
I think I might do a batch and add some coconut. Maybe my last batch, I'll add some coconut to this and make a few of those and see how that goes. If I do, I'll update you and let you know, but I'm gonna finish this off. Mm. Mm. Those aren't even bothering my stomach either. Um, so yeah, you guys make them super easy. Friends, look, I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm finally done with all these cookies. Look at this. Let me bring you over here. You see all those cookies? That's not all of them. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> Tell me that's not crazy. Crazy! But anyway, I had an enough, um, five cookies left in that last thing. I got two more, um, Trayfuls plus five cookies. Well, I added um, coconut to them. Oh my God. Amazing. I'm trying to eat dinner, but I had to finish this video off with that. Yummy. Coconut too. I only, I took maybe a, I don't know, a half a cup and just threw it in there. It was a lot for only five cookies, but. Mm hmm coconut on anything come on so anyway guys if you haven't liked and subscribed like and subscribe i'm going to cut this video down just so it's not so long um but and leave a comment thumbs up ring that bell i don't know where the heck the bell is because i don't see it anymore on my thing so i don't know why but you guys have a great night a great rest of your weekend day and i will see you again sometime this week more desserts i'm sure I have freezer space. I love you. Thank you for being here.